Hello and welcome to tips and tricks from Davo Ship Modeler. Davo Ship Modeler is specialized in fine handcrafted ship models and custom builds. You can find us on Facebook at Handcrafted Wooden Historic Ship Models. Hello and welcome to another video from Davo Ship Modeler. The topic for this video will be how to make an easy ship model or easy ship building. Uh, but before coming to the point, uh, let me say something. Before I decided to change my hobby to a small business, I run also another channel, channel on uh, YouTube and I put the link below. And uh, this already a few months ago. Now I check always both channel, channels and I'm uh, seeing that the old channel is uh, accelerating now. Uh, maybe uh, more than 1,000 views and uh, I have some subscribers and believe it or not uh, almost every week I got a new subscriber what is really nice and I'm really thankful for it uh, so from now on I will post my new videos on the old and also on the new channel so that both subscribers have the chance to watch all my videos but if you're watching my old channel, where is basically only the videos from the build of the King of the Mississippi, and you watched, uh, want to watch all my new uh, videos, uh, means tips and tricks and unboxing and whatsoever, and the build of the San Juan Nepomuceno, you please check out my new channel. Um, that's basically it, and I'm really thankful for every subscriber. Okay. Coming to the uh, topic for this video. Topic for this video is how to make an easy ship and uh, ship model. And if I'm pointing these two models uh, and asking you what of what what which one will be the easiest to build, and I believe that maybe most of you are pointing the small one in front and say because that's small and easy. Uh, to build than the bigger one but it's quite different because the smaller one took me almost double the time to build than the bigger one the reason why uh, of this is very easy to explain um, but first maybe let me explain something different if you want to build a ship model first you have to decide well, what what type of ship you want to build or uh, what ship model not type what ship you, uh, ship model you want to build will it be a static display or will it be something with a remote control when i was younger and started my hobby i always built my ship models with a remote control and also with functions sounds lights and so on so now i'm living in the philippines and i have no easy access anymore to remote controls or the, the type of remote controls I need uh, I concentrate more on my static displays okay so that's the first thing what you have to decide static display or remote control remote control what you need if you decide to make a ship model with a remote, remote control you need surely you need a remote control and a ship model so the first thing is uh, what is suitable for the ship model you build uh, there are two types of remote controls means the one is the pistol type and the other one is the stick type uh, pistol types basically has uh, not I believe not more than three or four channels uh, if I'm wrong I'm sorry but mostly it's used for the speedboats and very simple uh, ship models and uh, it's used in these ready to run means RTR or almost ready to almost ready to run models what you can buy in every hobby store so if you want to put some functions in your model uh, buy a stick one because this uh, remote controls transmitters can be upgraded sometimes it will be delivered with two or three channels and sometimes you can buy some accessories so you can upgrade it to eight or nine channels or whatever ask your local hobby store i'm sure they will advise what what uh, what is suitable for uh, the model you want to build and also thinking maybe a little bit further so give your remote control the the uh, option to to upgrade so later on that you can 
build more function into your model and uh, that's it okay this is about remote controls what what you need else you need a transmitter receiver a servo a dynamo or motor or engine uh, ESC means electronic speed controller and surely a power source uh, two types rechargeable or disposable I advise buy rechargeable batteries because in the long run they are cheaper than this excuse me these uh, disposable batteries and it's almost better uh, always better for the environment okay that's almost the, the only difference between static display and the uh, ship models with not yeah okay almost the only difference between the static display and the ships with remote control for ship models uh, on static display you do not need much you need a model and if you like a nice baseboard and a cover and uh, some lightnings or, or uh, whatever uh, something to put it in the right light and that's already basic it now how to choose the right model that's really a point okay let me put it this way uh, you will be easy disappointed and uh, stop you this hobby if uh, something is going complicated if you are a beginner so for this reason uh, I will not pinpoint a sp specific model uh, I have to put uh, in some plan so that I can, can explain it but there are many of this type in, in on the market and I chose this model because I have the uh, blueprints for this and uh, so it's easy to explain on it this model the bigger one is very easy to build I put now the picture from the plan and uh, you will see all the uh, ribs or bulkheads it called and the fault skill and the decks and the structure and all of this you see it all is very simple uh, and not so many parts the reason is why it's very simple to build is easy to explain if you check the ribs or bulkheads you will see that there are only sharp corners no really round uh, uh, corners and all straight and very easy uh, it's also very good in this uh, uh, model that um, the siding and the underside of the hull are basically only four parts and it's also printed already on the plant so you only have to transfer it from the plant to your wood and glue it on your uh, ribs and that's already it so very easy to build uh, and it's nothing really complicated the other thing is I put now uh, a picture of the plant from a different type of wood it's a tuck wood and you will see that the uh, there are no uh, individual ribs or bulkheads it's one box where all bulkheads or ribs are drawn in and it looks very crazy because the left side of the uh, picture is different from the right side so what it does it mean easy to explain uh, sometimes the left or the right side that really doesn't matter you will you will see this I believe that you will see is is the back side from the center counting backward and the other from the center counting uh, for, forward also to the front so the bow, bow section and you have to mirror this uh, because it's only uh, drawn half because all ships are symmetric so you have to fold it in the in the center and uh, then you got a complete uh, rib or bulkhead for your model and if you check it out uh, the plan you see that all there are no sharp sharp corners and all uh, uh, all ribs are round and uh, there are no uh, sidings and under uh, under uh, 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 under the uh, hull there is nothing drawn so basically you got the plan for your ribs or bulkheads and then you have to plunk it and if you're a beginner and have never planked a boat or a, a, a ship model 
I don't know if it's so easy for in the first time. Okay, if you got some help, try it. There's no harm in try. So if you like to challenge yourself, start with a small boat, uh, basically a tuck boat or whatever, or a yacht or whatever. You can do it, surely. But if you want to be sure that you can do it by yourself, uh, start with something like this, where all parts are already drawn on the plan and you only have to cut it out and fit it together and that's it. Okay, uh, next thing is, whatever type you, whatever type of uh, model you build, uh, with sharp corners or round corners, it really doesn't matter, uh, you need a board. Uh, I, I, I think it, it called a jig, a jig board or whatever. Um, you have to transfer the measurements from the distance of your ribs or bulkheads, you have to transfer it on your board and then you, uh, after you cut out your uh, ribs, I continue to say ribs or bulkheads, no, it's better ribs. Uh, after you cut out your ribs, you have to put on the ribs upside down on this board in the uh, distance of the plan. Uh, the underside of this uh, must be accessible so that you later on, it depends how, how, how you fix the uh, uh, ribs on your, uh, on your jig board because uh, sometimes you can cut it with a saw or you can, uh, uh, oh, it's not really easy to explain but if you put it a little bit higher so you can cut it with a saw, easy to remove later on. Okay, upside down your ribs on your jig and um, then in this case put on the underside and the sidings and uh, sand it and prepare it and whatsoever. If you have, uh, want to build it only for a static display, you only have to sand it and primer and then paint it and that's it. If you want to put a remote control, you have to make it watertight. In this case, you can put uh, you can put fiberglass on the outside of the model because this is basically a steel hull boat, and the outside is really uh, flat, and uh, it uh, you do not need to see any wood structure whatsoever. So this basically you can um, uh, cover in fiberglass uh, so that it's watertight and put putty and then uh, sand it and, and that's already basically it. Uh, if I remember this model, I built this uh, some years ago when I started after a very long break, uh, started again with my hobby and basically this I built from absolutely scratch. Uh, not the, the form but the materials I used for this uh, was absolutely what I could pull out from the trash can. Um, the deck planks and uh, the, the, uh, the hull themselves is the outer layer of uh, very old plywood so they are separated from the inner layer and I use the outer layer for this and, and so on and so on and so on. Uh, some diodes from old appliances and uh, uh, plywood and the windows are some uh, blister packs, the, the transparent plastic for the, from these blister packs and uh, a lot of imagination uh, because if you build something like this and the first time you do not have to stick uh, uh, on the plan. Uh, for me also when I finish the hull and check the, uh, uh, the structure what I can put on the uh, hull uh, I was surprised because for me it does not uh, look right. So I decided to make my own structure on this hull and that's the outcome and uh, for me I like it. Okay, then inside and out you can support so many details as you want and uh, it really doesn't matter. The other thing is this small lifeboat. I also put uh, some pictures of uh, uh, on the video. Uh, this is really uh, not easy to build. Uh, for me, in, in my case, was first of all, all the uh, plants I, 
I believe you can see it in the pictures, I have to cut by myself. Uh, means every single plank is cut by a saw by hand. Uh, means I, uh, I bought a, a mahogany uh, plank, 3 mm uh, thick and I cut strips from it, uh, less than 1 mm uh, thick. And each and every plank I, I, I glued on these uh, ribs and also the engine and rudder and also the oars uh, are cut from a solid piece of wood and if you see the um, pictures uh, you may see why it took so long so uh, to build this model so it, that's what I mean to how to choose the right model so if you see a plan uh, where the ribs has sharp corners and maybe there are also some drawings of the sidings and the underside of the hull that's a very and a very good and easy model for you if you're starting with this where to get this that will be uh, one of my next tips and tricks videos uh, i will put on some uh, website addresses and uh, where you can download uh, plans for any type a speedboat, taxboat, yachts and uh, whatever you like. Uh, if you have some suggestions it would be really nice not only for me uh, to help also other people. Uh, if you know where to download plants for free uh, there are many uh, websites where you can order plants, blueprints uh, that would, uh, I, will not, uh, I do not mean if you know uh, websites or forums or whatever where you can download plans please please put it on the comments so that we can benefit all from it and uh, that would be really really nice okay so meaning of this uh, easy ship building um, it's always good if you are connected to a group or somebody can give you help uh, if you like, you can contact me anytime. You can write me email or put a comment below. Uh, I, I promise that I uh, will uh, comment on your comment. And all my advice is surely for free. Um, okay, that's basically it for this video. So it, I hope that it helps you a little bit to choose the right model uh, that's it i hope you have a great day and enjoy your hobby thank you very much for watching this video please make sure to subscribe to this channel that way you got immediate update for our new videos that we are going to post every week